What is going on, everybody? It's Jordan Johnson here, Johnson Alpha Capital. Um, I hope you all are having a great start to your trading week. Um, today is Wednesday, April the 8th. Um, it's 8.51 a.m., so we're going right into the New York session. Um, I told you all last week I was going to make more content, um, more live videos, so you all can see me see me trade live on my live account. Um, my thought process is pretty much the whole, pretty much just the whole shebang. <laughs> Um, so I definitely appreciate all of you all that reached out to me, um, that letting me know you enjoyed the content. It's just the third video. I made one on Monday and I think I did one on Friday. Um, so a lot of you all did uh, message me, let me know that you do enjoy the content. So it is motivation for me to keep making the content and keep putting it out there for you. So as always, if you do, um, if you do see value in these videos, um, like share, comment, um, Turn them on to other people. Um, you're really, you all are real good about that in the Telegram channel. Um, I do get a lot of people, um, you know, join the Telegram channel because somebody else referred them. Um, so if you are not already in the Telegram channel, give us a second to load up. I just um, I reset my computer. Um, but if you're not already in the tele Telegram channel, uh, feel free to join me. Dollar Visions um, is free. I send out a lot of my live trades, updates, trading tips, um, trading strategies. Um, you name anything that I can, anything that I think would help you become a consistently profitable trader. Um, you know, join the channel. Um, but let's get into today. Let's get into today's video. Um, let's look at the dollar index. We're looking on a four-hour time frame. Um, if you go back to my previous video um, that I made on dollar index, I believe it was on um, Monday, the last video. Dollar index, we was up into this area here. Um, let's go to daily. You might be able to see better on that. No, it's four, four hour. We, we was on four hour. Um, we uh, we were somewhere around in this range. Um, I did mention it was going to get a pop up, and I thought we was going to come down. As you can see, we did get that. Let me see. Actually, let me zoom. Yeah. So, we did get that. We, as you can see here, it says a nice move up. Um, this nice move up, I do believe we are going to eventually probably follow back through and um, break these highs. But as of right now, you got your nice move down. Um, I have this labeled as A. With me, I am still on the basis that this impulse here. Um, so we are still kind of underlining it in a um, bullish trend. I do believe that. And let's let's go and see if we see anything um, telltale on the daily. Um, I really don't. Let's see. Zoom out. Blah, blah, blah. Weekly. I believe we did this on the last video. Yeah. Let's go. So let's go back to the four hour you are. Um, so four hour, like I said, nice move up, um, nice bullish impulsive move. As you all know, um, don't nothing go straight up. Don't nothing go straight down. Um, the market is going to consolidate. It's going to correct. It's going to, uh, you know, it's going to do everything. Let me respond to this text real quick. Okay, sorry about that, you all. Um, but we're, you know, the market's never just gonna go straight up, straight down. It's gonna consolidate. It's gonna do ebb and flows. Um, so good thing about Elliott Wave. Why I love the Wave Theory. Um, I, I love it. I've been studying it for about three, four years now. Um, four years, pretty hard. Um, it, it gives you rules and guidelines to just have the market move. Um, so I do believe um, this is a nice move down. Uh, although this is kind of an impulsive move down, I believe it's still to be the start of a correction pattern. I believe it's going to probably take shape as a zigzag. I believe what we have here is a one, two, three. Um, as of right now, I'm labeling this as my way B. Um, and I do think we are going to go lower in the dollar index. With me, with me thinking that we are going to go lower in the dollar index, that means we could either go lower in the dollar index from, from these areas here or... Uh, alternative, what I could see, what what may happen is something like this. We it's possible that we get a smaller one, two, three. That's a W. We get some type of an X pattern, and then for us to go up here, retag these highs. Let me put this as a support line. 
for us to go retake these these lines here to make this a complex structure B for us to come back down and C. So instead of us, we was originally looking at the zigzag pattern of A, B, C down um, before we go up and keep in mind the basis is, I'm still holding true that I do think we are going to go up in the dollar index. So everything that happens in between this area is fluff. Um, but if you're an intraday trader, scalper, or even an intraday swing trader, um, kind of what I label myself, it's, it's going to be a lot of movement within this area before we get this big bullish run back up to the upside. So what does that mean? We have to play. We have to react to the markets. Now, this is where um, I want to talk to you on these videos, the difference between theory and the difference between like practic the practical application. So this right here is the third. What I just explained, like the ABC, whether it's going to be a zigzag pattern to the downside, followed by a bullish impulse, or whether it's going to take shape of a, um, a ABC flat pattern. Uh, as you can see, this ABC, I'm, I'm going to put it to you again. This could be an ABC with a zigzag move to go lower, break these lows, go lower before we get this move up to the upside. Or it could take shape is where this correction is not over here at B, where it might not be over yet, where we can get its move up. It, it looks it's kind of impulsive. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get something like this, where we just get another push down here and a move up to retest these highs, which would give us uh, the shape of a, um, which would give us the shape of a flat pattern. And where we come back up instead of see breaking these lows like that, where we just come back, test these lows, and then go up. Either way, long term, I am expecting the dollar index to go up in strength. Now, how we get there, we don't know that yet. As of right now, just because we we're living in the now, um, I am gonna hold true. To, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this belief is that we have a one, two, three up to make this X. I mean to make this B wave followed by C. Um, Follow and, and I'm anticipating this C wave down. That's the theory. It's a completely different. It's a completely difference from theory and actually trading application. Now I do believe you need to be fluid in the theory. You got to understand the theory um, of your know, trading trader or whatever. You gotta. Uh, you gotta have some type of theory bias of how the market moves to be able to see long term and be able to have some type of vision in the market. But just because you understand the theory, don't mean that you can be a profitable trader. Two completely different things. And that's why I'm trading with you all on a live account so you all can see my wins and losses. You can see the trades that I do take. Um, okay, got that out of the way. Real, real good content right there. Um, so now got that out of the way. Four hour time frame. You all can see my bias on the dollar. Now, let's jump down to a hourly time frame. Drop down to the hourly time frame. So you can see... It, now we're we're in the now that um, I talk about. Let me just make this bigger. The now it's move up. I believe we have a five, a three, a five. I believe this is as of right now. This is a zigzag. It's it's move up right here. This is a zigzag. That's not a, a hugely impulsive move. I'm talking about this move here. This move here. That's a zigzag. Now. It's this move here, what we don't know, is this move here going to take us all the way back down? We don't know that. We don't know it yet. We, we don't know. But what we do know, what I think I got a good basis on, whether it take us all the way down or not, we are going to see something like this. It's going to be a smaller A. B, C to the downside. First off, let me make this. This is a higher degree. That's a minor. Um, this is going to be minute. We're going to make that. Let's just make it red just because. So, as of right now, I believe we are going to get another move to the downside. You can see I drew this trend line here. We did broke that trend line below. I drew it on the forward time frame. It looks like it might be a little bit off on the hour. But you see, we broke below 
retesting what I can see to be three waves. Now I believe we're going to go down. Um, that's a beautiful. Now whether we go, now run my step. Now whether we go all the way down to my lower targets on the high time from the four hour, or if we go lower here and then go back up to make a complex um, complex correction um, higher and turn that ABC to a WXY on a higher time frame, we don't know. I mean, we just don't know. But that's the beautiful thing about the way now that's where a lot of people get a lot of people get confused because it's not as simple as a basic strategy. Like it, it's not as simple, but it's very precise rules, guidelines, structure. It, it's very precise for those that are curious for that type of information. It gives you a playbook. It gives you a map. It gives you a game plan to the markets to where you're never caught off guard. But that's I believe we are going to go down. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time like teaching it. You know what I mean? Just I just want to kind of give some uh, thought process. A lot of people ask me about it. Let's get into some actionable setups. I'm already long on dollar yen. I've been long on dollar yen since yesterday. So let me show you all the position. Uh, I'm long on dollar yen. A lot of guys. Uh, I'm long right here. Um, I am expecting some nice upper targets on here. Let's zoom out. These this is where my first target area is. Uh, if we break above this structure here, I'll probably add a position, but I'm already long on um, US yen, dollar yen. Um, so let's go. This is my dollar yen now. So I did this last, uh, I believe I, I touched on this Monday. Uh, kind of, I believe it's WXY. I believe we got it ending here, blue going up. I wouldn't be surprised if we maybe come back down to this. We didn't quite get to my orange box, which was my kill zone. Um, but I, I, st I still like that entry. Let's go over pound dollar. I think I want to get long pound dollar. Uh, I am going to get long pound dollar. I've been looking at this setup. I, I'm not in love with it on this. I like it. I like to, I'm going to take this trade probably from is four hours. So this is how I'm looking at pound dollar. Be beautiful, beautiful trade setup. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I believe this is in the fourth wave. We're forming this fifth wave here. We've been forming it. I like this structure. I believe it is a W, X, Y, um, a, a complex flat pattern to where we was making this fourth wave pullback. I believe we might have gotten this bottom here. We came up. I believe this is a flag. I'm going to get along with stops below here. Um, target this 127 area um, right there into my blue box. A um, few things I don't like. I I wouldn't be surprised if we come. I don't like that we didn't touch this 38.2. Um, it's just a bit of a shallow retracement. Um, it's fine. It's not a deal breaker. I know getting into this trade, I, will, I just wouldn't be surprised if we come back down. Um, let's look at, did I post? Yeah, pound dollar. Um, I posted this setup on the 6th a couple of days ago. Um, posted it. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised we break, come down lower 38.2. We break the trend line. It looks like we came, look, look what we did. We came back lower. Didn't quite get to 38.2, but boom, pushing up towards it. Not a whole lot has changed. Um, I am going to take this from this four hour perspective. I do like it. Um, now I'm going to risk about 90 pips, one, two, two, four, 30, 91 pips to make. To make about 340 pips. What did I say? One, two, one, two, one, five, seventy. I like it. Uh, For those of you looking, I do my analysis on I do my analysis on Trading View, and I actually take my trades on the MetaTrader platform. Uh, 
Um, let's look at pound dollar. Y'all probably heard baby in the background. That's my one year old trying to break into my office. Uh, four hour time frame. That's crazy. Look, I mean, the, the data's a little bit different. Um, but let me get long because it's a 90 pip stop loss. I'm going to take it with the point 50. I'm very I'm kind of precise in my risk management. Now another thing, keep in mind, I did just buy it. Um, like I said, I know what I'm doing, but I did just buy it at a. Oops, I mean, I'm a. What did I say? One, two, two. That's fine there on the four hour is that yeah, that's about where I mean drop it down a little bit right below that flag. Yep, so you can see risking 92 pips, um risking $462 on this trade. Um but yeah, I'm sorry, I got kind of get sidetracked back to what I was. Let me get my shit just so I can draw this area. I know um, I am buying it at a, I'm buying it at a resistance level, um, at a strong resistance level, uh, um, a supply zone. I know that um, stocks, so I, I know that I just got on, I, I go off the trading view that a lot. This candlestick just closed on the floor, so that's why I'm going at, um, and like I said, I do know Price could easily, um, where did we go? Price could, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if price came back down, went back up. Wouldn't be surprised at all. That's why I'm conservative on my entry. I didn't take a huge position. I'm comfortable with that loss um, based on my account size. Um, Comfortable in that loss price could come back do that then go up. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I wouldn't be mad I just re up. Probably a little bit more confident with a slightly bigger position. Um, I, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if price come back up to this level here, then come back down and then went up. I know how the market moves. So because I know how the market moves, I got a game plan. I got a playbook. It's, uh, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm taking trades that fit my criteria. When I lose, when the, when the losses don't matter. That's what a lot of people fail trading. Everybody soaking wins and losses. Probably like it don't matter. When you got a trading strategy that you believe in, you confident in, um, you just take trades. Kind of like the casino. I don't care. Who, like if you own a casino, you you don't care who comes into the casino. Ten thousand people come to the, come into the casino. Whether whether Bob win and Joe lose, or Sally win and um, and Tony lose, somebody win big. It, you don't matter because you know, based on the system of your casino, over a period of time, you gonna come out ahead. So that's how you're supposed to feel in regards to your trading strategy. Um, so now S S pound dollar. Um, I am. I let me. Where's my I'm not exactly too keen on the MetaTrader 4 desktop. Um, desktop. Um, I love the mobile platform. So let me go put in my take profit area of 127 on my phone. So now I'm pretty much not, when I take a trade, I don't do a lot of active trade management until my trade get into profit and I'm trailing it. Um, but let me zoom out just so that you all can see. Um, this is where my my targets are. Um, so it's, it's tend to make sixteen hundred dollars, three hundred um, and thirty pips. So um, I like these type of trades, risking four sixty two to make sixteen hundred, almost a four to one. Um, so let's move on from pound dollar. Look at I like what I seen from euro dollar too. Um, we are breaking out of this trend here breaking out of that uh, let's go to the hourly time frame hourly time frame we 
did somewhat get a break and close above. Zoom in a little bit so you all can see it. We did get this break and close above here. I'd be risking 50. I don't love that setup. 50 to make 100. Um, just because with this one, I'm not too sure. Oops, let me get that away. I'm not too sure this move up here is going to get back up to these highs. I wouldn't be surprised if we got it. Move up, down, we come back up, make this one-to-one, -one, and then we, um, let me get this West Max. I use a lot of Fibonacci, you all. Um, but it looks like we are breaking on this play. If I do get a nice one, let's go to 15-minute time frame, see if I can find the entry on a smaller time frame. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not in love with the Euro-Dollar setup. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if we do get bullish on it. Um, one, two, three. I like this move. It's not in love with this. This looks, this looks kind of corrective to me. Wait and be so sure if we just didn't just plummet back down on that. Um, not in love with it. Makes me look back at my pound dollar trade. Uh, same thing with the pain on oh, on smaller time frames. Um, as Euro Dollar Cat, as you all noticed in the group, um, I was short on Dollar Cat um, right before this big drop. I got it out on it yesterday. It hit my it like it hit my targets and immediately turned around. Um, it's actually given a bad kind of bad setup for. Like I said, if you go to Leslie, I, I posted. I wouldn't be surprised if we. We got this move up here. We came back down, didn't quite touch this low, but we got pretty close to it. I wouldn't be surprised if we come back up to finish that correction and just to come back down like that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I also wouldn't be surprised if we just broke lower. Um, look at this from a four hour time frame. Yeah, four hour time frame, kind of indecisive, but I wouldn't be surprised for us to get that bullish move back up in it. Don't see a great setup. Um, New Zealand, New Zealand and the Aussie been pretty strong. Let's see, let's delete this trend line. Four hour time frame. Let's draw this flag. You see here, it looks like we got a break here. Broke the flag. Came back down, retest. We, we may be we may be going again. Um, I like that. Wouldn't be surprised if we get one more move down, kind of just like the other dollar pairs. Let's look at it on an hourly chart. I definitely like the upside um, in New Zealand. Let's do this. Let's go back to this four hour time frame. Let's put some fibs on. Oh, I can't. Tried to come right into that 38.2. Even if we can, let's see if we get multiple fibs right in between that 50. Um, I do like that. Look at it on the daily really quick. Daily. When I look at it on the daily, I wouldn't be surprised if we got something like this. Just, just that's why I look at multiple time frames. I, I do like to see the bigger picture. Wouldn't be surprised if we got a deeper correction like that. 
wouldn't be surprised something like that happens. I also wouldn't be surprised. It looks like this might be the more likely. We come back up, tap those highs, just to come back down lower and see. I mean, it's a good 80 pips to that, but a good stop loss is 50 pips. I'm not in love with that risk to reward. Um, if I, I mean, there is a chance that we could go for the extensions. Um, it's 15 minutes. Get some type of pullback on this 15 minute time frame. Um, that'd be ideal. That'd be nice. It is strong right now. Um, however, um, at 200, it, it comes in right there as well. I'm not in love with that. Um, you know, so like I said, just because I see the where we can go up. Tap this and come back. Um, we, you could always shoot for extensions. Uh, so that's something I'll, I'll look at. Um, one of my trade strategies, like I get into this trade, I say get in there and shoot here. Once we get to this level, I'll move my trade to break even. Um, Aussie dollar, same thing. Um, Aussie dollar, we are shooting for extensions though. I like the Aussie trade better than New Zealand. How are you still looking at a 90 pip stop loss? But even at, I mean, that's 90, even if we just target the 0.618. Um, just a few things you got, you got to be, like I said, when you, when you, by me being a technician that I am, I know what I'm taking to like, I, I, I say all the time, I look at trades, like, I look at trading like a sport. Like I said, I play football, I play linebacker, um, game planning, film, like, I I know, like, if the market do this, then I'm going to do that. If the market do that, then I'm going to do this. Like, I know, let's say, if I was to, one, we got this morning style reversal pattern. Um, nice bullish trend. Looks like it could go up. But I also know, um, just technical game plan, I know the market's also showing me a double top. Like, I know that. Like, I know it. I see it. It's, it's some some traders is looking at this trade like, oh, that's a great counter trend trade. It's giving a double. It's giving me a nice, beautiful double top pattern. I oh, have some paper. It's giving me a nice, beautiful double top pattern. A lot of people's gonna be shorting this to the downside. I'm not sure to say, ah, oh, that's a wrong analysis. No, that very well could be a wrong analysis. Don't none of us know. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be. Trend continuation to the upside, or if it's just going to be a double bottom. But it's, it's, it's exactly what a lot of traders is looking at. Feel strong from here to here. We're at close to 61.8 area. A lot of traders is looking at 61.8, double bottom, double top here. We're going down. That's not how I'm looking at it. But it's how, and who's to say they're wrong, I'm right. Like we don't know until the market do what it do. So that's why you have to know what type of trader you are. Are you a trend following trader? Do you look for trend continuation? Are you a counter trend trader? Are you a scalper? Are you an intraday trader? If you're a little bit of both, do you got strategies for both? Because you can't trade a trend continuation and swing trades. Like you can't have a trend continuation and swing trader's strategy, but yet you scalp with that strategy too. Like yeah, it don't the markets don't work like that per se. Um, you got no type of trader you go. I know what type of trader I am. I'm an Elliott Wave trader that trade Elliott Wave patterns and like to be aligned with the underlying trend.
You know what I mean? So sometimes I can trade. I can trade the corrective structures. I can trade trends and corrective structures. I can trade the big trend. I, I know where I am. I, I know my win rate. I know my strategy. You have to know that for your trading. Um, I do like this Aussie trade. I really do. I really do like this Aussie trade. I want to get involved. I really do. I, I want to get involved to this Ozzy trade because we are so. F I'll wait and see what this hour close is going to do. Um, we're only 20 pips from a high, so I might just see if we're going to break above that high. Um, that's Ozzy. I, I, I like that Ozzy setup. I think you are gonna love this video. They set up pound New Zealand to the downside. Don't know. Two, three. Uh, I don't see an amazing setup. It's just basic technical stuff. Probably play a break or something. Don't don't see nothing I just love there. Let's see what's this giving us. Saying it's a, a bad setup. Um the pound yen, pound yen's doing good. What's pound dollar doing? Hey, pound dollar's going. <laughs> um What's Dolly in doing? Dolly in's not. Ozzy Pound Yen, do we look at Pound Swiss? I did look at Pound Swiss. I did like this something. I didn't. Something about this setup. I didn't. I love you. Yeah, I went to see a break. I didn't see a break yet. And then. Uh, Pound Cats are doing good. Let's see, Pound Ozzy. Ozzy Strong. Euro. Euro Pound. Euro's not that strong. That's why I wasn't in love with the Euro Dollar setup. So, I mean, that's, a, that's about it. I don't want this video to be overly long. What time is it? 924 so it's a shit between probably what 30 about probably about 30 40 minutes um the last two videos was over an hour i think that was just a little too long um so look at look at dollar swiss dollars dollars doing remember when i first done the video i said i think the dollar is gonna break down um and, and i believe we are gonna get this breakdown set up that's why my dollar yen is not um that's why it's having it's having trouble right now because dollar's losing strength. When dollar and the yen's both losing strength, so it's like who's weaker? But I did like that setup. I mean, I still like the setup, so I mean, I'm gonna stay in it. Um, Euro dollars breaking out. Um, as you can see, I might get along. Uh, I'm. Uh, I don't see um, New Zealand. The Australian. I really like the AU setup though. New Zealand's cool too. Both of those are both of those are pretty cool setups. Um wanna see probably a little correction before we get along. Um so that's about it for this video, y'all. Like I said, I didn't want it to be too long. Um this one was probably I, I, I believe this one was more value packed than the two previous ones I did where we kind of just looked at the markets. Hopefully you got some more good insights, not only from a technical perspective, but just kind of just trading in general. Um so as always, if you all love the video, you like the content, you'll like me to keep putting out more content, more videos, um, like, share, comment, just you know, let people no, you know, the material is there for people that do want to learn free material. Um, if you're not in the Telegram channel, join the Telegram channel. Um, because that's where you see the aftermath of like my setups and trades. I do send 
Like, I, I mean, I send my wins, I send my losses. I, I mean, I, I show you all that. I show the profit. I mean, I don't cover up block sizes like some people do. I believe if you're going to, like, market your trade and make videos, you should show that stuff you don't. You, I mean, like, why, you know, why not? You know what I mean? Like, is it something you had in? I mean, because if you don't want nobody to know, you shouldn't show the position no way. You know what I'm saying? So, why I cover stuff up? That's just my thought process on it, you all. Um, but I hope you all have a great rest of the day. It's only Wednesday, so it's going to be a lot more movement in the markets before the end of the week. Um, and I'm going to put out more content. Um, have a great day. Over and out.